Hello guys, Jellyfish of Happy here. I am playing the latest version of Minecraft, Minecraft 1.13. Well, the uh, pre-release of Minecraft 1.13. And I noticed that my old chicken farm doesn't work anymore. I'll show you guys why that is. It pretty much has to do with the hopper blocks changing their hitboxes. So the new hopper blocks they still look the same, but the hitbox has been significantly reduced. Let's go check it out. As you can see, the chickens are running out of there already because... You see that gap over there? Before, the hitbox of this filled this entire space, and that's obviously not the case anymore. If I take another block and block it off, it doesn't really fix the issue. As you can see from here, the chickens are all crammed in the back there and nothing's gonna get burned in the front. So yeah, this design doesn't work anymore. I will delete this and I'll show you the new design that I came up with for this update. And hopefully future updates as well. So this design looks very different, but in fact it's... Um, it's pretty much the same design, just with one minor change, which is I moved the hopper from this position on top of the dispenser to behind the dispenser, and I also moved these wires back as well. The reason why it looks so much more compact is, well, it, it is one block shorter now, but it's also one block longer. Um, I just removed a lot of these extra blocks in the corners because a long time ago, what would happen is that these chickens, because there's so many crammed into one space, they would occasionally explode everywhere. Um, that hasn't been a problem for a while, so I decided to finally update the design. Anyway, I'm gonna get into the tutorial on how to make this thing. I'm not gonna do it one block by one block though, because it's really not necessary, it's a very simple design. I think if I just explain how it works, you guys will be able to build one yourself. So, the eggs are hatched into these hoppers here. Or not hatched, they're, they're... The chickens lay the eggs into here, and they hatch after they're released from this dispenser. And what triggers this dispenser is these two blocks here. So the comparator detects the egg and the observer detects that <laughs> and what the observer does is it creates two short signals the two short signals are useful especially for this lava dispenser here because the lava when it receives two signals what happens is the first signal dispenses the lava and the second one retracts it and that retracting is important because if the lava stays in there for too long, the chicken drops might get burned and not end up in this chest here. What the other dispenser does is it releases the eggs and hatches them when the signal reaches. This signal pretty much reaches both at the same time and does two things at once. The, yeah, the good thing about that is it doesn't require a daylight sensor to do what the lava does over here to trigger the lava. So that means you can put this cooker anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be outside or it doesn't have to have a skylight which is exposed to the sun. It can be underground, it can be under a roof can be in a hidden base as well so yeah it's a lot more flexible in where you can put it and that's pretty much it I hope you guys found this useful and uh, thanks for watching